Hey what's up you guys, Mr. Moth here and welcome back to another LEGO review on my channel and today we're reviewing the LEGO Target exclusive cube that came in 2014 and I found this set at Frank and Sons for 20 bucks which is a really good deal for now. It used to be 10 ten dollars at Target because it was a free gift or not it was a free gift if you made like a uh, uh, certain purchase then you can buy that I think I'm not so sure but um, it's pretty cool that I found this so I don't think there's a need for speed uh, I don't think there's a need for speed uh, uh, thing for this video because it's gonna be a really quick unboxing so let's go and unbox this it's really cool that I, that I can uh, get this because I really want the Lego Superboy I'm not really too hyped about the other minifigures that you'll see I'm just I'm just really excited about the Superboy kind of and oh, I don't even need the scissors, just a little, um, what should I call it? <laughs> a tape. So you can just put that right here. Let's go and open this up. Opens from the top, has a little Lego symbol on it. Let me open it. And this is how the inside looks, has some pieces, you know. Uh, so let's go and take it out. We have some, we have some pieces. It's kind of a, there's, there's a sword. Uh, a tube piece. It's, yeah, it's just pieces. And if we go and take the main thing of this set out, which is the mini figures, I'm not sure how to take completely take this out. Oh, that's how we do it. There's a black black thing. So if we just if we just slide it out, this is where we use it. So we have a police officer uh, and lion. I don't really know Chima. Lloyd, like the Green Ninja, and Superboy. So let's go and take a look at these minifigures after I build the weapons. And here are the finished minifigures. Of course, we have Superboy, a police officer, um, a lion, and the Green Ninja. And uh, let's go and take a look at our main character, Superboy. And here is Superboy. Of course, this Superboy is from the Young Justice line, and he looks pretty cool. He has a little T-shirt with the Superman symbol on, and um, he has a uh, peach skin, kind of. And he has some pants with a little bit of uh, pockets and a belt. And um, he kind of has a normal face. I'm not sure. I think it's kind of a concerned face look. And he has a regular, he kind of has like wavy piece of hair. And if we go and turn him around, he has some back printing with a lot of muscle right there. And if we go and turn around his uh, head, he has uh, the Superman heat vision face, which is pretty cool to have. And um, I just really like this how this character looks. He's, he's like really worth it. He's really worth uh, the cube because like... I seen on like Amazon that he goes for eighteen ninety five, but the cube goes for like twenty dollars, and I'd rather get the twenty dollar cube than the eighteen dollar minifigure because in the cube I get like three extra figures. But I don't really care about those figures except um kind of this one, and uh, the Green Ninja. So just just spend the, spend the extra two dollars. It's it's better. Just trust me. The next category is Ninjago, and we have the Green Ninja here. I think his name is Lloyd, and if we go and take off his uh, hood, he has a yellow face with kind of a smirk on his on his face, which looks pretty cool. Well, not that cool, I mean, you see it every day. It's just, it's just another face you can use if you make, like, stop-motion videos. But um, he has a little um, shoulder, <laughs> shoulder piece that carries two golden swords, which uh, look pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh, they have gold swords in the upcoming uh, Rage Al Ghul set, which I already ordered on Lego.com, which is going to be coming soon for next week's set. And um, if you go and take off the piece that has his swords, he does have a dragon logo on his uh, shirt, and he has a green belt and a little bit more of a tail, the dragon tail. And if we go and turn on his back, it says Lloyd. So, um, it just says his name, so, it looks, this figure is really cool, I don't, I really don't like Ninjago, to be honest, it's just, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it, but I'll probably just give this to my, to probably one of my little cousins, um, shout out to them, cause he, I guess he 
he just got a Ninjago set for his birthday, so I guess I'll just give this to him. Next up, we have a LEGO City Policeman, and he has a little flashlight, which looks pretty cool, and handcuffs, so those are nice pieces to get in a set. And his torso kind of has, is he's wearing a long, long sleeve shirt that's brown, and he does have some glasses right here with a walkie-talkie, and he's wearing a vest on his torso. He has blue pants, and he kind of has an, a smirk face, and if we turn him around, he just has a police logo on the back of his uh, sweatshirt. And he does have another, I think it's a water canister. And he does have a walkie-talkie. And the last category is Leo Chima. And um, he, looks, he looks pretty cool. He has kind of a, a helmet for his face, which is actually two pieces, which is uh, pretty cool. He kind of has an angry face. If you focus, if you let it focus. Yeah, he has an angry face, and he does have kind of a sad face. And he does have yellow eyes, which looks pretty cool. Again, not a big fan of Chima, but he does have that old-style cape that's crinkly, kind of a little ripped. Kind of, I think the packaging ruined his cape a little, which is a little disappointing. But um, he does come with a crystal and a sword, which uh, I guess these are cool pieces to get. He, his torso is, I don't know how to explain his torso, it's kind of a medieval times look. And at the bottom of his feet, you can see he has, um, he's a bear because he has claws right here. If you go and turn him around to see his back printing, uh, he still has that medieval look, which looks pretty darn cool. Alright guys, and that's, I have to wrap it up for uh, this video. And, um, overall this is a pretty good set, and I'm gonna have to rate it a... Hey. 4 out of 5 set because I don't really care for the other minifigures, only for Superboy. I wish he came in a poly bag that would have helped me out a lot. But um, it's a 4 out of 5 set. It's still good. I suggest you get it off of Amazon, eBay, or your local to your local, <laughs> local toy store. Because Target doesn't sell it anymore and you can't find it anywhere else. So um, that's pretty much it for this video. Go and leave a like down below. And if you want to stay tuned to my content, go and hit subscribe. And leave a comment down below for what you want to see next. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fresh. Mr. Moth. Out.